What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I heard that you had some issues getting better at Apex Legends. No, I didn't hear. You clicked on the video and you wanted 10 ways to instantly improve. So you care about your time, you care about the information, and ultimately care about Apex and getting better at FPS games. Well, you came to the right place. I've done this video over the course of my YouTube career, over hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and this video that is that you're gonna see right here, iterations of it have gotten over millions of views. So trust me when I say I know what I'm talking about. A lot of people love these types of things, and it's been too long but we have an influx of new players and there's a problem. You guys want to get better at Apex. Old players want to keep improving. The standard of the game is so high and people are kicking your butt. Let's be honest. Not many people are gonna tell you this on a video. People are whooping your butt and we need to help you become better. And that's what I'm here, Rain Day Gaming, to do, to give you 10 tips to instantly improve so you could take the power back, get more kills, get more damage, and have more fun in your game. So let's get into it without further ado as we start playing here. First couple of games on C are actually being shown in the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. The first thing that you guys need to learn, number one, is take accountability in your own learning. See, the biggest problem I see with newer players is they come into this game and they say, what do I do? Where do I look? How do I behave? And this is what we do in life. You go to college, you go to a job, you go to these different things, and you don't really know the circumstances which will allow you to succeed unless you experience the game enough. This is where you can get into a problem. The second something goes wrong, you look at the environment as if it's a bigger issue than yourself. And if you start this journey out by taking accountability, every kill you get, you deserved. Every, every time you died, you also deserved. You allow yourself to have a learning mentality. Because let me tell you what, you've seen Courage, you've seen Dr. Disrespect, you've seen Tim the Tapman, you've seen Cloaksy, you've seen uh, Nick Merckx, you've seen them all play and get owned in Apex. The only way the people survive out of that that little, uh, what do you call it, the, 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 the iron gauntlet, is to take accountability for what they do. And that allows you to get learning. So that's number one. Let's kick this video off with that. Make sure you're taking accountability. A lot of people brush that off the window. They start blaming all kinds of things except their own dang gameplay. Let's move on to number two. Shoot for the stars and land in the clouds. You guys have heard this one before, right? When you're shooting for the stars in Apex Legends, what it means is that you are aiming to be the best player you can absolutely be. A lot of people get on this game and they're like, well, if I'm just average, if I can have fun with my boys, I'll be happy. Problem is, you usually don't reach your goal without commitment and drive and focus. Most goals in life don't just happen to you. You don't end up owning a hotel. I've talked about this before. Unless you have a vision to own a hotel, nobody just gives you a hotel in your life. You have to go after it with a purpose. And so if you want to get very good, you have to understand that even if your aim is to be pro, you'll probably get a little below that. Most people will, and that's just factual. 99% of people will not be professional Apex Legends players, and 99% of people will be a little bit less than what they hope for, but it doesn't mean that you won't be great. So the better and the higher you aim, the more success you will get. If you wanna hit every single shot in your R301 uh, magazine, aim to hit every single shot miss two or five that's great but if you go if you don't care if it's 50 50 hit a few shots if not you will be hitting three four bullets and wondering why am i not improving because you're not focusing on hitting every single shot we all know failure is a part of this journey but you have to aim high enough so that when you do fail everyone does you end up with a result you're still happy with see people who fail but they don't aim for anything high then they fail and get bad results that they are not happy with those are the people that quit we're trying to get you off that path so shoot high look at those pros look at those people and that'll get us into one of these other things that i have coming up in these later tips which tend to scale in importance in my opinion so stay tuned for the rest of this video number three a day late and a dollar short most players in this game most people in life are a day late and a dollar short and they don't realize it this is one of my favorite sayings you guys know i'm a professional esports caster if you wanted a little bit of uh i guess a, a resume i cast apex legends i've casted every single professional tournament for apex legends throughout its inception since poland in september of 2019 and all the way into the algs the entire season one of the championships that ended in july so uh, with season two coming up, I'd say I've seen the highest level of Apex probably as good or more than anybody else in the world. And one thing that I understand about high level and about casual level, since I make videos for newer players, uh, for myself, and I play at a pretty high level, but not a pro level, uh, is that most people are just a day late and a dollar short on what they want to get. Meaning that you are one or two tweaks away from actually getting to where you want to go. Most people think there's this huge journey. And a lot of people jump in saying, well, I gotta get this wall bounce and this wall jump and learn how to uh, 360 no scope like I'm seeing all these streamers do. Sure, that's great. But most of you are just one little bit of accuracy practice and aim training a day 
uh, away from being a very competent player that can climb these platinum diamond ranks, uh, or at least get very close to that. Uh, a lot of you are just simply using your mouse to, or your controller, to put your weapon back in as you slide jump to get a little bit of extra speed and take it out before you land to keep your momentum. Those little things are the things that might help you in gunfights to win nine out of 10 instead of six out of 10 or four out of 10 because a lot of you guys are still trying to get to that 50% level. These are those tweaks that feel impossible because you don't know what they are. But if you watch channels like me, if you watch channels like the gaming merch, you watch channels like uh, really tip oriented channels that allow you to learn new things in Apex Legends, these things will become obvious to you. And that one little tweak may make the biggest difference. So you're much closer than you think. That's one way to start getting it and understanding how to improve very quickly. Number four is a big one. You're not gonna improve unless you do this. Be honest with yourself. Y'all know who it is. A lot of stubborn people out there in the world. We have them as siblings, parents, uh, cousins, and teachers, bosses, and of course, uh, spouses. The big difference though, is that you are responsible for your own results. If you're playing Apex and you keep losing, you keep getting no kills, and you keep blaming the servers, brother, sister, there's a problem. You have to understand that these servers are the same for everybody else. Uh, these games are being won by someone. So you have to be honest with yourself. If you're not performing, Look at why. If you can't do that, then the rest of this video isn't important because you'll never be able to acknowledge where you need to improve because you're not being honest that you do need to get better at those things. A lot of people are afraid of honesty and looking back and saying, well, I wasn't enough. Who cares if you're not enough? You know you're not enough. Own that you're not enough and own that you're also working to be a better version of yourself because that only upside from there, my friends, the fear of being not enough, once you realize that who cares, that you can move on through your life, not just in Apex, but in life, a lot easier without worrying about what people think. So be honest with yourself in this process. What do you need to work on? Take, make a list, figure out exactly what it is you're not great at and start to improve on those things. Let me know in the comments some of the things you guys talk about. Number five, look at this. We're we're blasting through this, baby. Watch pros, streamers, and the best of the best perform, AKA find mentors or a mentor. See, a lot of people, this goes into the aim for the, uh, for the stars land in the clouds. A lot of people don't look at the highest level of play and try to emulate that. The greats in the world of NBA, I love basketball. So I look at, you know, Kobe Bryant emulating Michael Jordan and learning his moves and expanding on them and making one of the greatest basketball careers ever. And LeBron looking at Kobe and MJ is saying, well, I'm gonna be the best shooting guard, uh, three guard in the league and try to create an even bigger legacy than those two. Each one of them has built upon previous generations of each other, but it's because they had a mentor and a focus on how to do that. Do you think Kobe would have been Kobe if he hadn't looked at MJ as an example? I don't think so. And a lot of you guys aren't looking at the right examples. You're looking at casual gameplay, you're looking at casual streamers, you're looking at fun streamers, entertaining streamers, but you need to be watching pros. You need to watch the ALGS. You need to see how these games are played. You need to be listening to people who know what they're talking about and can actually help you improve and explain it to you. Because sometimes pros are great at playing, but they stink at explaining why they're doing what they're doing. They don't, they're, it's, it's like Messi trying to explain how to pass a soccer ball to someone who's never played soccer before. It's just, all those things are so ingrained in his experience, he doesn't even think about the A, B, C, angle your foot, lock your ankle, swing through, and keep your follow foot, you know, your, 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 all these little things. And so this is why finding a mentor is really important. You have to have somewhere to go in order to keep you on the right direction. That will help you improve almost instantly. Uh, number six, this is a big one, take risks and be willing to fail in important situations. Yeah, it's one thing to go off drop. I see a lot of people say, go off drop, die in the middle of a lobby. Here's the problem with that. I hate this advice because there's no stakes when you drop. When you drop, everyone's just scrambling. Who cares? There's nothing that you've earned, nothing anybody else has earned. It's all random luck. Sure, you get better at picking up weapons and dealing with the heat of it, but you don't practice taking risks in real situations that require risk with real outcome, good or bad. If you take that type of risk and you push a team after you knock a guy and you go, I'm gonna take this risk to try to 2v1, I know the other person's half shield if I grenade in there, and then I use the door, let the grenade hit, now I know that they're arc starred, so I have a chance to get the second guy down and then it's just a 1v1, I can armor swap off the first guy who I've killed. I'm gonna take that risk, that calculated risk, do it. And if you die, you watch that tape back, but you take the risk because then it costs you a game and then you feel it and then you know that, if done right, would have been a big win done wrong though now i gotta sit and look at that 
and you actually feel that one. A lot of people brush off their biggest learning experiences because they say, oh, well, it didn't matter. Drop, first drop, let me blend the game. Not fun, ah, who cares? That's how you're stopping yourself from moving forward. So start doing that, taking risks in important situations. You'll see, trust me. Uh, number, what is this, eight? This is seven. Uh, weapon meta and patch notes. I can't tell you, uh, this makes sense to me. A lot of people refuse to get on Twitter. They refuse to watch patch notes unless their favorite streamer talks about it. Listen, I appreciate all my Rainstorm, my notification members who have hit that bell, who are subscribing right now, liking the video. I appreciate you guys. You wanna see what I have to say about these notes. But for your own good, if it's two days, read them yourself. Get a Twitter account. Um, this is where these conversations happen. And if you're not up to date on the weapon meta, what's good, what's getting nerfed, why the L-Star got nerfed last week, why it was a big topic, what it was excelling at and why it was valuable, then you're, you're basically, your software is not up to date. And if you look at a phone that doesn't have up-to-date software, it's clunky, it, it freezes in its apps. We all know what that happens in the real world. We don't realize that we are software. We're programs ourselves. We have certain levels of information. And if it's lacking compared to everyone else who's playing, you're not gonna be at the highest level. A lot of people ignore this stuff and they say, well, I'll just play. Yeah, just play gets you just results. You wanna get better? Start paying attention to the current news up-to-dates and what's coming. So you cannot be too reliant on stuff that's not gonna be there forever. That's a big one as well. Um, let me let me get into these. These are these are the three most important ones. So I want you guys to pay attention. These are the best ones here as the game is running out. Top three squads. We've got eight kills. You guys know I'm backing up what I'm saying. We're playing this game. We have a lot of experience. It's my second game back after 30 days of not playing Apex. So it just happens. This is, if you do these types of things I'm talking about, it ends up becoming common knowledge. It ends up becoming a part of you. So trust me what I'm saying. You can see it here. My other first game was here. Was another 2,000 something game. Eight kills. This is a back to back. So uh everyone starts with zero that's a that's a really important thing to understand in this life you know stop making excuses for why you're not growing let that go everybody starts at the same playing field when you start about look at building a social media following people say oh they got lucky they got quick okay but they all started at nothing they all started with zero on instagram zero on twitter i don't care who you are you start with zero and when you talk about Apex Legends and all these players who are so much better, they started day one and started to get better from there. Sure, it's easier because they didn't have anyone else to compare themselves to. There's a lot of reasons. You could, you could try to make an excuse about it, but does the excuse serve you? I'm being honest, does it serve you? Does it get you what you want? In my experience, excuses don't usually get people what they want. It saves them from having to look at what they want and why they're really not getting it. And so everybody starts with zero, whether it's an Instagram, a YouTube account, social media following, or skill in an Apex Legends competitive environment. But you have the chance to still go as far as you are willing to go. Don't make excuses about it. Honor the fact that everybody has their own journey. And if you are willing to know that, you could say, well, listen, yeah, these other players are better than me, but they had to start where I was. And I'm gonna put that work in. And in fact, I've got way more information now than they ever had when I was starting my journey, right? So think about it that, you got some advantages. Okay, number nine, you get out what you put out. I see a lot of people on Twitter putting out negativity. I see a lot of people on Twitter putting out drama and issues. You see it, but you know what? You know what shows up in their feed? Drama and issues, negativity. Sure, a little positive. Yeah, I like that you got that guy down. You told him how it is. I see people rage when they rage in the game, where they throw their controller, break their monitor. Yeah, nobody shows you the picking up the pieces of the glass afterwards. Nobody shows you after the stream where he looks at his controller and goes, damn, I gotta go, gotta go to Best Buy. <laughs> Shout outs to Best Buy, right? Also, very hard to get sponsors like that. You know, because we understand on this channel that what you say has an impact and what you put out comes back. So all the negative stuff, very, very hard to get the Best Buy, the McDonald's, the, the Bumble, uh, the, the big sponsorships because that's not what they're looking for and they're not putting out negativity. So you have to understand that what you are doing with your energy when you're learning this game is going to give it right back to you. When you're complaining about the servers as to why you can't practice, when you're complaining about uh, why that the lobbies aren't in your favor, there's rent, there's diamond, there's there's bronze uh, players in my diamond lobbies, there's, uh, you know, well, what do you mean? I have this level 500 and this guy stinks even though he's level 500, how's this matchmaking? We go back all the age, all the excuses, everybody's been making since the dawn of time of Apex Legends. 
The real thing that you have to acknowledge is that it isn't serving you. It's only giving you more. You heard the phrase, hate begets hate begets hate. It just becomes more of it and you get it back. So if you're trying to learn, and these are 10 steps to instantly improve, you gotta try to get better in terms of understanding that what you're putting out, if you fail, you learn to use it as a, as a learning mechanism, as something that can you can grow from. It's okay to be upset about it. It's okay to rage a little, but it's not okay to stay in the rage, leave it there and blame it on something that has nothing to do with your growth. Because ultimately you're sacrificing your own self-worth for that. And that's the biggest problem. And lastly, hard work never wins over smart work. We've talked a lot about what this means in this in this game and in this community, guys. Hard work is an important thing. But I see so many people in the world right now, whether it's in gaming, whether it's in uh, on my channel, they'll come and ask me for advice. I've done this for a year. I've streamed nonstop for a year to, to two people. Guys, hard work is great. It is It is a crucial part of the equation. But you can't do it all with hard work because there are people who are working just as hard, but they're working a lot smarter. They're not watching videos like this. They're getting stuck on, on number four where they're not being honest with themselves. And they're acting like they're way better than they are. And if they just took themselves down a peg, they could realize they got a lot to improve on, start focusing on those areas, and they'd actually become a very good player. There's a lot of people uh, stuck on number nine. And they're doing a lot of hard work, but they just keep complaining about the servers. And so all they do is focus on that. And every time they die on the servers, they also happen to be pushing a little too hard. It's really, it's very interesting, you know, and they're, and they're giving themselves an opportunity for the servers to screw them because they're pushing so hard without their team. Listen, it's not an end all be all. It's not a cure all. It's not a fit all situations. But the truth is, if you are working really hard and you're not getting results, it's time to think about, are you working smart and hard? Because hard work against the wall, bumping your head against the wall, isn't gonna get you what you want, guys. And I know this from experience. I know this from what I've seen in the world. And hopefully you guys understand this as well. If you enjoyed this, guys, we're gonna get into some more granular tips as well on the actual Season 10 meta with the Seer nerfs and things that are coming up in these latest patch notes. But of course, for this one, guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and honestly, in the comments, let me know to continue the conversation, what you resonated with, what you disagreed with, if anything. I'm sure there's some people who disagree with me out there. And also, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to, get, to become a part of this notification squad. I appreciate you guys. As always, never give up, never stop gaming. I will see you all next time.